What's up, YouTube? I'm Brett from Rants R Us. As always, guys, if y'all enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. We're on the road to 1,000. We hope you guys can help help us get there. All right, so rumors, rumors, rumors of Netflix's uh, new series uh, based off the Adams Family called Wednesday. Christina Ricci, who is famous for playing Wednesday herself uh, when she was younger, is now rumored to be Morticia Adams. Let's. Do you think it could work? Do you not think it could work? As for me, I'm super excited about it. When I saw the picture of her compared to what Morticia is, I'm like, yes, she definitely needs to be uh, Morticia Adams. I feel like she fits that role perfectly. Of course, you know, and how cool is it she'd play Wednesday and Morticia at one time or another in her, you know, in her past with Wednesday and future with Morticia while being in a Netflix series called Wednesday. I feel like that would just be the perfect thing in the entire world. Like, I, I'm super excited about this. If this is true, let's hope this is true. At least I hope this is true. Uh, I think she would be great at this role. She's got that way about her that she would fit. I don't know. She fits the profile of what uh, Morticia was about. I mean, I just think it, I just think it's amazing all the way around. But let's go ahead and let's read a little bit about this. It says Christina Ricci may be returning to the Adams family to play the matriarch on Netflix's Wednesday, uh, according to the Luminarity. Uh, there is currently talk of Ricci, uh, Ricci uh, returning to the franchise for the upcoming Wednesday spinoff show on Netflix. Tim Burton will be directing the series, which will follow a young Wednesday Adams with psychic powers who attends a supernatural school. Not quite sure exactly what the psychic powers thing is going to be about. Uh, Ricci uh, played Wednesday's uh, Wednesday Adams in both 1991's The Adams Family and 1993's Adams Family Values. It says the report also claims that both Jenna Ortega and Bailey Madison are in talks for the titular role of Wednesday, with production reportedly uh, leaning towards casting a Latinx, I hate that word, Latinx, lead but open to all ethnicities. Ortega has appeared on Netflix's You in the films Yes Day and The Babysitter, uh, Killer Queen, uh, so she already has a strong relationship with the streamer. Madison has been acting since a young age, appearing in Bridge of Terabithia as a child, and more recently on the shows Once Upon uh, in Time and Good Witch. Um, it says, uh, Teddy Biaselli, director of original series of Netflix, said in a statement upon the show's announcement, the upcoming eight-episode series is a slothing, supernaturally infused mystery charting Wednesday's years as a student at the peculiar Nevermore Academy. Wednesday's attempt to master our emerging psychic ability toward a monstrous uh, killing spree uh, that has terrorized the local school and solved the supernatural mystery that embroiled her parents uh, 25 years ago, all while navigating her new and very tangled relationships of the strange and diverse student body. We then got the call that visionary director and lifelong Adams Family fan Tim Burton wanted to make his television di directorial debut with this series. By Sally continued, Tim has had a history of telling empowering stories about social outsiders like Edward Scissorhands, Lydia Dites, and Batman, and now he brings his unique vision to Wednesday uh, and her spooky classmates of Nevermore Academy. Um, I just think I just really think this is going to be amazing. I really do. I think she will be perfect for this role. You know, you know when I saw the word Latin X, I'm like, does anybody like that name? I I know it's probably if I was somebody, I would be uh, I'd be very offended by that name to be honest with you. But it it doesn't shock me that they're trying to pull off all that stuff with it. Um, but that, besides that, I think this show's got, uh, you know, it's going to have a great, great cast of characters. 
Um, like I said, I think Christina Ricci would be great with as Morticia. I mean, she's just got the look, she's got the feel, and she's got the history. I mean, I mean, this is a this is a woman that has played in a lot of supernatural um, uh, films in the past. Um, so she, that's no stranger to her. Um, I just think she'd be great for this part. I just think. I'm excited for this series. There are a few seri upcoming series that I'm truly, truly excited about. And this is one of them. I cannot wait to see this. I'm a little bit skeptical at being on Netflix. Uh, Netflix has let me down in the past, even though there are some good shows on Netflix. Um, but at the same time, you know what? This would be a really fun, binge-worthy show. I think it will be. Uh, especially if... They add some really interesting classmates to it. Not quite sure about the psychic power thing. Like, I don't know why they had to go down that route exactly. I feel like she's interesting on her own. They don't really need to have that. Just have that creepy Wednesday vibe. That's all you really need. But, I mean, I guess if you want to add psychic powers to it, all power to you. That just adds maybe a different layer that we haven't necessarily seen before. So, I'm cool with it. I'm excited about it, but guys, let me know what y'all think. Are y'all excited to see maybe Christina Ricci returning to the Adams Family after all these years? I mean, it's been, what, since 93? I mean, that's almost, what, geez, that's 20 years ago, you know? So, I mean, we're talking or over that, you know? I mean, so it's, um, that's pretty amazing to me. I think, I just feel like she just looks the part, and I think she would play that part so well like i mean she played wednesday great i'm a huge fan of those movies i mean i don't care what anybody says about those movies i could watch them over and over and over again and i have over the years those movies never age badly they're always good always good uh but i'm a huge adams family fan i watched the old 1960s series over and over again i never get tired of that even the cartoon I mean, that cartoon was amazing when I was a kid, and I watched that, and I still watch it to this day and get excited about it. I'm hoping for, you know, I'm hoping well for the Adams Family. Really hoping for another supernatural thriller, uh, Beetlejuice, to maybe get revived in some form or fashion, whether it be a cartoon or movie or series or whatever. I'll take anything they can get. And if they can get Michael Keaton maybe to, you know, you know play that role again. But, I mean, that being said, I think this show's got a lot of potential. Uh, it's definitely up there with, like, Beetlejuice and my, in my view of, you know, supernatural thrillers, com slash comedies that are, uh, that are up there for me uh, that I think has a really good fan base and a really high chance of success. If they don't screw it up with, like, some kind of SJW politic bullcrap and all that stuff, which could actually be the case. There's some things in there that kind of made me think that it that might be a problem for it. Uh, but, you know, what? as long as it don't take itself too seriously and it doesn't try to, you know, constantly shove things down our throats, I think it'll be pretty good. I just want a show that's fun. Just fun. Just fun. That's the way I, I want it. I want a series. Don't ruin any series for me with any new non nonsensical political bullcrap. Like, I just don't care about any of that stuff. But we'll just have to see, guys. Let me know if y'all are as excited about this as I am. Uh, do you think she'd be great, Morticia? A terrible Morticia? Let me know. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.